Okay, here we go. This is Mr. Vincent Caggiano. Thank you, Mr. Steven Spielberg. This would be on the pentatonic scales, Vinny. Okay. All right, so you asked about, what was it? What, what are they? How do we use them? How are they constructed? Okay. What are your thoughts on these? Okay, all right. So remember I said I, I, I have an analogy about like the Russian dolls. You know the Russian dolls where there's a doll within a doll right. within a doll. You open the dolls, I think it's the top of their head, and you they pull nest. another doll out. Right. Well, think of the chromatic scale as the biggest doll. Okay. okay. You pull a doll out of that, you get the diatonic scale, which includes the seven modes. It's do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Right? Dropping out of that, like say, say we had a chromatic scale, the big 12 notes. Dropping out of that, we have, let's take the key of C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Right? Right. Dropping out of that, we have the pentatonic, which is C, D, E, G, A. Dropping out of that, we have the triad, which is C, E, G. And dropping out of that, we have the root, which is C. Okay, so basically they're all related, okay? So when we get down to the pentatonic, what happens is we're dropping two notes out of the C scale. We get C, D, E, G, A. We're missing F and B, okay? Now where they got the structure for this, it's, I, I, I think, first of all, it's weird about the pentatonic scale. It seems to be like a lot of the uh, cultures that are closer to the earth, the savage cultures, tend to use pentatonic scales, okay? I, I don't know why this is, but they're very natural to sing. They're much easier, easier to sing than diatonic. Is this diatonic. like a African the music African and singing? African music, you could... Damn, I mean, you, you know, you could go even into Irish music and, and Japanese and Chinese music, and it's all, it's all like the, the most, most folk part of that style is, is pentatonic. That doesn't go across the board to every culture, all right. but uh, a good deal of them. It seems like the pentatonic is really natural to sing. All right. Uh, so in any case, though, but where'd they get it? Where'd they get the idea? Well, here's an interesting thing. If you took the chromatic scale, pulled out the seven notes of the diatonic scale, and dropped them aside, you'd have five notes left. All right. The black keys on the piano are exactly that. Well, if you start on the F sharp note, you get an F sharp major pentatonic. If you start on the D sharp note, you get a D sharp minor pentatonic. So what's left from the chromatic scale when you build a diatonic is pentatonic. So maybe the theorists saw this as a natural phenomenon and said, well, we've got to pay attention to this pentatonic as well as the diatonic. All right. Now, what? The pentatonic scale is really the black keys on the piano? Yeah. I just wanted to make... Do you know how there's a formula for chords and there's a formula for scales? In other words, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Or right. like, say, the formula for a major chord is two whole plus one and a half. Or the formula for a diatonic major is whole, whole, one and a half whole one and a half. Okay. All right, if you started at a different place for the minor pentatonic, you get uh, one and a half whole whole, one and a half whole. Okay? okay, so it has a formula. So if I if the black keys have that formula and I now apply it to that C scale that I had before, I start on the C note, I go whole whole, one and a half, whole, one and a half. I get C major pentatonic. Okay. Okay, does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Now I want to talk about, um, this is where you won't get this in college, this is my own theory. I consider triads and, and the ability to build a triad from within a scale, all right, that those triads are like gravity uh, generation units, okay? So it's interesting, when you look at the pentatonic scale, let's say A minor pentatonic, we have A, C, D, E, G. There are only two places where I could build a triad. On the A note, I could get A, C, E, and on the C note, I could get C, E, G. But on the D, the E, and the G, I could not build triads from that that structure. Okay. So now I have a pull to the minor because it creates a triad and a pull to the major because it creates a triad. This is why the pentatonic only has two roots. Okay. So why you have on the fifth uh, you have A and then you go up to C. Right. Um, for the minor. Yeah. Right. Now, okay. For the major, C is major. For the major, A is minor. A is minor. Okay. Okay. Um, I hope that helps. I mean, um, yeah. there's not much more I could say about it. Yeah. It's got two roots, you have to pay mind to those okay, uh, and in order to know what context you... you less than four and a half minutes, Vincent Caggiano has essentially solved the pentatonic problem. Or if you're Jewish, the Pentateuch.